Okay, now the last concept I want to talk about today is net present value. And there's nothing flash about net present value except that it's a whole lot of present values added together. And you will need to know how to calculate a net present value. Excel has a net present value function, but it's not very good, so we want you to use first principles. Okay, so here's an example. We've got a small project here. Um, invest $8,000 in saleable items. Over the years, I used to make it things like Lord of the Rings mugs or Batman mugs or something like that, but I've given up on that because I have to change my lectures every year and can't have that. So I now say saleable items. So what would they be this year? What sort of a trendy thing we'd want to buy? Sorry? No, I didn't catch it, but yeah. So whoever's popular at the moment, Madonna, maybe Whitney, who's that awful singer that's got really bad? Brittany Spears or something. Maybe Britney Spears <laughs> knows or something like that. Okay, so we project that the returns will be over the next four years, $4,000, $3,000, and so on. Okay, so we want to know, is this a good idea? And we're just using projections here. So at face value, you're paying eight out, th out 8000 and you're getting back quite a lot, you're getting back 1500 more than you paid out. So you think, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to make $1,500 in four years without having to do anything other than buy these mugs and sell them, or whatever. But what about the interest we could have earned on the money if we had left at the bank at 7%? So what we do is we use the concept of net present value. So each of those cash flows is going to happen at a different time, so what we need to do is find the present value of all of them and add them together, and that's what net means. So we've got our first one here, minus 8,000. Now notice, I've got a minus for paying out and a plus for coming in. This is arbitrary. Accountants get knickers in a twist about which way you should do it, but I don't care. So long as you have money going out being one and money coming in being the other and your answer makes sense at the end, that's fine. But I guess probably it's better that money going out is minus, so we're paying $8,000 out. We're getting back 4000 3000 these ones. So these are pluses. They're adding on to our bank account. This one here is coming off our bank account. So this is happening now. So it's discounted by a factor of zero. And so we end up with just the money staying the same. This is happening at the end of one year. So we get this value. Two years, three years, and four years. So then we add them all up together. And the answer is $345.98. Okay, so what does that number mean, $345.98? Someone says to me, oh, that's very exciting, but what does it mean? Okay, what it means is that this particular project is the equivalent to putting um, $345.98 in the bank. No, it's not even that. It's, it's basically saying that the value to us in today's currency of this particular project is $345.98. It's not $1,500 is what it looks like. In fact, the profit we will make is $350. And considering there is risk involved and there's some work, that's probably not going to be enough to make you want to do it. So by looking at it before discounting and after, you can see it makes a difference to your decision making.